Each time I wear out, I wear this ring, I get a lot of compliments from it. Uh, from yeah. wearing it, right? You make it's it sound nice. like he, he he dug out the ring by himself. <laughs> oh, we went together. Welcome back to another episode of Keep It Simple. And today we're joined by our guests, LD and Cheryl. And we're going to be talking about something that I've been seeing a lot on my Instagram feed recently. Um, people getting proposed to, people getting like engaged and like, oh, wedding planning, like exciting, right? A diamond ring can be kind of really expensive and might seem almost like a waste uh, as compared to all these other things, all these other necessities. Mm. So yeah, we'll be talking about that today. So what does a diamond ring mean to you? Um, I think for me, it means like, uh, it's just a sign for you to show other people that you are committed to someone else, to that you mean to uh, marry someone else. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It's like a token of your relationship and I think it represents more of the emotional value and sentiment behind it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Interesting. But I think... He means like, what does a diamond ring, is it? Or what does yeah, what does the diamond? Because you are putting a, a, this emotional and sentimental value on a diamond, right? But at the same time, a lot of things can have sen- sentimental value, you see? So like, uh, maybe the ring was handed down by your grandmother. Mm. Uh, that one has sentimental value. Like, it, it's not even expensive anymore, it's priceless, mm. right? Mm. But there is this uh, whole marketing... Uh, campaign since what the 1940s or actually even before that uh it just got bigger in the 1940s to have people be very very sentimental and attach a emotional uh feeling and therefore a price tag to something that's intrinsically useless mm-hmm. to a certain extent right uh so i think uh i'm sure you guys know about the beers right it's a whole campaign and uh one of the founders, the previous founder, Nikki Oppenheimer, he he has stated that diamonds have intrinsically no value, mm, right? Mm. Except for the psychological void. That 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 is the the value. Okay, I'm I'm just paraphrasing. It's not the mm, full quote, right? Okay. Uh, but like I mentioned, I'm not against diamonds. If you want to buy a diamond, by all means, go go ahead because it. To be honest, it looks amazing. Yeah. It's very shiny. I yeah. like it. I like I like diamonds as well. Right. It has the bling factor. Yeah, that bling factor. But then, okay, I think like for me, uh, it's more like the value doesn't... Because I, I know exactly what is going to happen after you buy the diamond. It's like it loses half its value, right? So actually, um, I personally didn't even ask for a real diamond. I asked for a lab-grown diamond. And the reason why I wanted a diamond is because it can match a lot of things. Right, <laughs> like right, it's very right. easy to match because yeah. it's white, right? And it's like 80% cheaper to a certain extent. Oh really? Roughly. Definitely. Oh, oh yeah, lab grown, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oral, like one of the brands. Like, yeah. Mm. But I, I think uh it's amazing because all these lab grown diamonds, uh they have it, I think we are paying for the technology. Yeah. Because it's it's quite interesting, like how, how a normal diamond uh gets grown uh beneath the ground, right, for like sixty over a thousand years and mm. then we can replicate it in two weeks. Mm. Right, so I think if we are if we are paying, we are paying for the technology, and this technology can uh, potentially reach, I don't know, some some something that we probably never imagined before. Maybe we can uh, simulate sapphires or emeralds or even jade. Mm. You know, all the other valuable stones Gem out stones. there. Yeah, gemstones. Yeah, correct. So I I, I agree with lab grown diamonds actually. I like, yeah, I, like it. I also I like, like it. it. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think. But then my partner chose to get like a real diamond lah. And you know, I think, although it, I, I told him that I, I would prefer a lab grown diamond, uh, I I think I, I value like his intention and his right. like sincerity like a lot more than the actual like gem itself. Yeah, and I like that he also kind of respected my wishes to have a diamond. And but also made his own choice to have uh, like his like a real diamond instead mm. lah. Yeah. So it's up to him also to determine what's the value. It's not just me, you know. Of course, yeah. of course, of course. So um yeah. But would you say that he, hmm? he got um okay there's there's no nice way to say, it, but maybe he fell prey to the marketing. Uh, Uh, I'm sure like half of it is I'm sure a part of it is cause of the marketing la, right. you know cause it's like oh natural diamond oh it's yeah. so unique <laughs> yes, 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 yeah yes, yes, yes. but I mean I can't I can't say that I also 
don't kind of feel more touch that it's that a he that diamond, is a right? natural diamond yeah. as well la. I, uh, I'm just very uh, prone to this kind of marketing things. <laughs> right, and I think that's where they monopolize the whole thing, uh, the whole market. They they withheld uh, their their diamonds a and they the yeah, world. they yeah. released bit by bit. Mm. So that there's a demand for it. Oh, it's a sup- oh, yeah. short supply. Short supply, demand, yeah. Yes. So okay. they cut off the supply. They made the marketing so extravagant that, oh, you must... The, the, the guy have to uh, use a diamond ring to propose to, the, to a girl. If not, she, she won't accept. Mm. Right. right. So it was very successful. And because of, of the shortage that they, they are the ones manipulating, right? Um, it became crazy. Mm. It became crazy. But... Of course, in the past, there was there was actually a certain value to it. Where in World War Two, right, or like after World War Two, uh, a lot of the men they went to war. So there was this there was this thing where the men would buy the diamond for the for the for the fiance or the wife, and if ever he passes away, that diamond can be sold away. You know? Right. So so to take she, care of their yeah, needs. Yeah, to take care of their needs because mm. back then, like it, it's not it's not like how how we are mm. right now. Like uh, men and women, you know, we all work, we all become directors or CEOs. Back then, it's different. Mm. The men are the one you know doing hard labor and stuff. Technology mm. wasn't so good, so soul a lot of the men they were doing yeah the sole breadwinner. Like it, they could still survive with one breadwinner. So if the sole breadwinner dies, then, wow. Yeah, it's yeah, a like, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, the the now the wife can sell the diamond ring. Of course, not at a hundred percent value, mm. but mm. it is different from how it is right now. Right now, you know, when we buy it, and then it's fifty percent mm. value directly, yeah, or lesser. Maybe back then we can get it for 80 percent of the value. Right. We can hand it over. Mm-hmm. And then I'm sure you guys have heard before a lot of all these stories where the grand your your somebody's grandma has this ring since then, and then it's mm. passing down. Yeah. So probably those are the rings that has increased in value. Mm. Oh. Yeah, right. Uh, because of the things it has gone through, right. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that, that is the whole story or a rough history of how the entire um, diamond industry is. Yeah. Wow. The marketing. Oh, then right. there's this uh, like benchmark, right? Where like a guy needs to spend three to six months of his salary on a diamond. Yes. So uh, as, a, as a guy, how do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's always two sides to a coin. Spending three to six months of your salary is okay if you know how to save. Mm. If you know how to handle your finances, right? If you are a person who is earning $10,000 per month, you know, buying a $30,000 ring, let's say three months, right? Um, if, you, if you are able to earn $10,000 per month, it, I guess, I assume it would be safe to say that you have some financial uh, understanding. Mm. I mean, of course, this is a, a very, very pure assumption. There are people who spend $10,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. per month, right? Yeah. Um, but if you compare it to a, to a person who is earning maybe $2,000 per month, you know, mm. you have to save up 6 k Of course, the diamond will be different size and stuff mm. like that. Um, but I don't think it's the heart, right? Yeah. Mm. If I want to if I wanna do this for my loved one, uh, am I willing to save up 3 months worth of my salary? Why this 3 months uh, to 6 months thing came about, as far as what I know, right? Uh, it's based on the resale value of mm. a diamond back then right you know you could sell it for 70 percent. so if a guy maybe we put it in current day current uh modern day currency exchange right if a guy is earning three thousand mm. dollars and then he bought a ring for nine thousand mm. dollars right back then when some when he sells it away right you can get back about almost 70 percent of the value mm. so that's that's a good amount of money that's right. like six to seven thousand dollars right mm. uh-huh. right so if you bring it back you, we exchange the currency back to maybe around 1947, 1945, right? If the husband dies in war, um, the wife can actually essentially take that money or that diamond and sell it for money, mm. right? Uh, of course, during 1947, the war has ended. Um, it was, it's only after that, you know, the Korean War or Vietnamese War or whatever. Mm. Yeah, so that, that, that has always been, or rather th- what I read was that has always been the, the entire mindset behind mm. the three to six months thing. Oh. And also, of course, to help with the marketing, three to six months is how a guy should 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 to spend show his love. to show his love, right? <laughs> you wanna put it on a monetary value. Yeah, so yeah. if a person earns one million dollars a year, so you are uh, sorry, one million dollars per month, right? Uh, so what three million three million dollar ring? I'm sure know? it exists. <laughs> I'm sure it exists, but you are essentially placing a value yeah. on yourself. You see, right? When I don't think that should be the case. Mm. You know, your your actions should should be louder because someone mm. who is very rich can spend $10,000 on a lot of people mm. Mm. you know 
and then it has no more meaning really. It's yeah. just money. You know? It's just yeah. value. Even though I want the money a lot, lah, but <laughs> I know that there's no love there, you see. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, for Cheryl, um, what advice would you do you think like it matters to you? Like it mattered to you? Whether I got a ring, a um, diamond ring. A diamond ring or whether like how much your husband like spent on it? Yeah. Uh, no, it didn't matter to me. Um, I actually proposed to him that, you know, maybe we, I, I don't mind if you gave me like a earring instead mm. or a bracelet or it could be, you know, even a watch or <laughs> I went to the extreme to saying a title deed. Oh. You know, it was very practical what's, because what's a title deed. What's that? So it's like um to get a property. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So to, like to put the down payment oh, for good. a house. Right? So it was very, very practical <laughs> know, because casual. eventually <laughs> like, yeah, like, both of us would need a house, right? Yeah. To stay yeah. to stay yeah. in. So it could be anything. It could even be a handbag that she's been eyeing for years. Mm. Or a pair mm. of shoes, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah. A pair of Jimmy Choo's. I, I guess it would be a bit weird if you take a pair of Jimmy Choo's shoe and then just like, will you marry me? Oh my gosh, then, then she has to stick out her foot, then you like slide <laughs> yes. it onto oh, her foot. Cinderella. Oh, I said, yeah, Cinderella vibe. It's quite romantic as well. Yeah. 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 Okay, so what do you think you have to slot in both shoes though. If not, she'll just be barefooted. <laughs> I mean, she can only wear that on like, her wedding day and walk true. down the aisle. Yeah, true, so, true, true, true. So, Actually, that, yeah. so that also in itself has a sentimental value. You guys want to start a new trend, right? Yeah, oh maybe. My. We just stop, oh, stop then, diamonds. Then just like um rings, right? You have to know her shoe size. Mm. Then mm. easy to find out mm. also. <laughs> How do you place a value? Like, can you maybe express your emotions, your sentiments uh, on this ring. Like, mm. Yeah. Because I know that my husband had to work very hard to save up for this ring. Um, I know it's not cheap. I, I don't know the real the real amount, but I know it's um, the rough cost. So that to me, you know, shows um, his sincerity. So in, in wanting to marry me, uh, his blood, sweat and tears, all the long nights and also each time I wear out, I wear this ring, I get a lot of compliments from it uh, from yeah. wearing it, right? You make it's it nice. sound like he, he, he dug out the ring by himself No, <laughs> we went together <laughs> uh, Blood, sweat and tears Blood, sweat and tears <laughs> Yeah, who... blood diamond <laughs> he who dug hey, Actually, out the ring. it is a blood diamond in a way because he did work hard for it But yeah, so I get to tell the story of how, you know, he throws the ring um, to people when they ask mm. me or so. Right. So I like the story behind it. Mm. So that has personal meaning to, to me. Yeah. Right. And so it is a very beautiful ring. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I love it a lot. I like looking at it. Uh, I think he answered the brief very well. I wanted a <laughs> brief. <laughs> I wanted something that was like crazily blinding. Um, so checked and then pink diamonds. So checked. So I, and I like this kind of setting as well. So I think my husband did very well in choosing this ring. Mm. Yeah. So how did he, he choose it? He worked with the um, jeweler. Jewel, 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 jeweler. <laughs> how do you say that? Uh, jewelry person. Jeweler. <laughs> jeweler. 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 Yeah, jeweler. 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 He worked yeah. with the jeweler. Um, yeah, and kind of like designed this ring. Yeah. Uh. So so they they were put like different like stone a carrot weight. Mm. On your ring, on your ring, on your fi- ring finger, and then just to like determine um, if it's too chunky or uh, does it sit well on your finger? Right. Yeah. So that, actually, there was a lot of thought process behind it. You know, we went um, throughout the whole orchard belt for weeks to try on every single mm. ring in different colors. Um, Size, sizes. Um. Actually, that's quite fun. It yeah, is. it's super it was fun. fun. It was so fun for me. <laughs> it's super fun. <laughs> I did it with my guy friend because he wanted to propose. So we were uh-huh. we were running around the whole of Amokyo Hub yeah. to to just sit down. Yeah. And drink tea. I mean, he wanted the ring lah. So I just sat down and accompanied him and just pointed like, hey, maybe this one is nice. Actually, mm. I didn't. I didn't contribute much. I just said, hey, this one is nice. This one is nice. And then I just drank that tea. It was quite. It was quite fun. Yes, mm. yeah. Do you try on any? Never, never. <laughs> That's yeah. the fun part. When She's you get the, the one sh- getting married, <laughs> ma, not me, ma. So I didn't. So what about your experience, Chris? How um, was it? actually, I, uh, I only sent him like pictures of rings that I kind of like, cause I think it's also easier for the guy la, to choose a ring, right? Um, if you have like some reference pictures, mm-hmm. yeah. So then I just sent it to him la, and then, 
uh, actually I didn't know I didn't even know that he or like how was he planning to do it or like when he was planning to propose to me uh, but he went to uh, like a it's not it's not a branded place. It's just one of those. Um, there's no middlemen, so they have the raw materials, everything, and they do it there. It's, it's mm. some industrial area, lah. Yeah. So he went there with one of his other friend who was planning to propose also, lah. Yeah. And then um, they made the ring there, lor. Yeah. So you can draw out the design, everything, and then like you can choose the diamond also. So he chose the diamond, lah. So I think um, it was quite a pleasant surprise when I got it because I really didn't expect anything at all. Did and did, did the ring end up being uh, similar to any of the pictures that you sent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually, was? it was like almost the same as one of the pictures. <laughs> so actually, no. Now, now there is this uh, curious question that I have mm-hmm. because um, you sent him references. Mm. Then Cheryl, you went to try it out, right? Um, what if your partner designed the ring on his own without telling you? Let Let's just say it's something that you. You think it's only just normal. But he, of course, he, he designed it on his own. Mm. Uh, he thinks this is nice mm. for mm. you. I think guys who design the rings from scratch, right? They usually have a lot... They put a lot of thought behind. Mm. So I think once you hear like the reason why he chose this material, the shape, the weight, um, all the specifics, right? You'll be very moved. Yeah. Okay. yeah okay, and, you, okay. and you would love it. Okay. Because it is unique and special to you. Right. It's yeah. customized to you. Exactly. Okay. You know. It's like he had you in mind when exactly. he when he designed it. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't matter yeah. whether uh whether you in a sense whether you like it or not. Mm. It's just that he uh, if he puts his heart and soul into mm-hmm. designing it, mm-hmm. yeah. you will like it. Yeah. 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 It's one of a kind for Definitely. you. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good to know. I'm taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Single. <laughs> 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 To anyone out there, do you all have any advice like uh, about getting maybe a diamond ring or just maybe an engagement ring in general? Any advice? Uh? Yeah. Uh, if your partner wants a diamond ring and if you can afford it, then why not? Mm. Right? If you, I mean, of course, if you, you don't want to get a diamond ring, of course, you have to explain it to your partner mm. why you don't want to get a diamond ring, right? It might be you don't believe in the marketing. You might uh you might not believe in the worth of diamonds. It's all actually up to personal preference, right? And I guess if your partner is not willing to listen, um, definitely I wouldn't say they are not good people, lah. Maybe they are just you know they have fallen. I wouldn't say fallen prey, but uh, they are very uh, uh they are very into the marketing because yeah. it has worked on them, right? Mm-hmm. And it's it's not an easy thing to have a marketing tactic work on. People like me psychologically, you know. Mm. You know, it's a little bit like fashion brands, really. Mm. You buy a, a shirt which has a brand on it, right? Uh, likewise with diamonds. Um, you can explain to your partner. Let's say if you're a guy, right? You're a guy, you explain to your partner um, why this has no value or you think that something cheaper might be better. Mm. Maybe cubic zirconia or maybe mm. moissanite. I don't know. There are people who don't like those because they are not diamonds, right? Mm. But why would you like it if it's diamonds and not cubic zirconia? Mm. That's, that's a question probably you go back and think about it. Like, oh, just because it's diamonds. And then why do you like diamonds, you see? Mm. So I, I guess once you admit that, or uh, like if you like diamonds because it's diamonds, mm. then you know that maybe you might have uh, got, gotten affected by the marketing, which is not a bad thing. Mm. I think it's good that you got, you know, it, it shows that you, you like stuff. You have a preference for things. Like you know what you want. You like, know what you want, yeah. Even yeah. though it's affected by the marketing, you mm. see. Um, but I think for guys, you just talk to your partner, right? Maybe you can get a sapphire mm. or ruby mm. or emerald or any anything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's, there's always ways to go about it. Like, why why get a sapphire? Oh, because ni- 95% of your friends, you know, who are being or who are engaged, course, right? They, they have yeah. a diamond ring. You are mm. the one that will stand out. You're the one that's different. Of yeah. course, you can, you can swing the, the other way. Uh, yeah. Everyone will be like, oh, all of us have diamond except for you. Right. You know, that, that's where hard. You have to play around with it. But uh, of course, if your mm. friends judge you for not having a diamond ring, then I don't think you should have them. So as weird. <laughs> but I think, I think it's just about communicating, la, course, setting yes. the expectation of both parties yes, as yes. well. You, you have to communicate. If yeah. not, if not one, one party expects like a, a three carat ring and then uh, the other party is like, I don't think carrot, uh, the, the carrots are worth it. 
Yeah. You know, myself, I give you a real carrot, you know. <laughs> I, I feel that sentimental value. We can cook it, we can you eat can it. Cook. You know? <laughs> yeah, but it has more value to a certain to a certain extent. Yeah. So I, I yeah. The, the conclusion is just communicate. You have mm. to communicate. If not, mm. things will, will not go well. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say if the girl is really um, particular about what she wants, do your homework, do your research. Yes. Um, yes. you know. Go out there and try on as many rings as you possibly can. Yes. And then share, trying is share free. It. Yes, right. exactly. Trying mm-hmm. is free. Uh, yeah. Go and then go with your partner, because you are gonna be the one wearing it every single day, not him. Yeah, correct. Right. Mm-hmm. It has to match your yeah. outfit. Yes. You know your current jewelry co- collection. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So try, go try. and try. Try is free. Yeah. Try is free. Go to every jewelry shop. And try mm. their even diamonds. even if you're not gonna get engaged, just go and try. The <laughs> service is great. The service is great. You can go and try. Yeah. Go and tea. IG yeah. it, and then you can mm. return it and say, "I'll be back when I think about it." <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. That's what I did also. <laughs> I was so happy when I walked into Tiffany and Co. and I tried on this two hundred fifty thousand ring. Two hundred fifty thousand dollar ring. Yes. Well, that's one quarter of a million. Yes. You can buy a two room flat. This is on my finger. You had a two room flat on your finger. I, wow. I did. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, it, it just hit me. Yeah, there was a two room flat on your finger. It was a yellow diamond. I can remember it till today. I see. Yeah. 250k. Wow. Okay. Um on that note, yeah. So I I, mm-hmm. I would say um like uh, it's coming from my own experience or something that uh I was very happy that I kind of did as well was to just uh, not have any expectation. So I really had like no preference or like no expectation for how like the proposal was going to be. Um, of course, I had a preference for the ring, but at the same time, I don't think that I would have been up- too upset with anything. Yeah. Mm. But of course, I think it's also good to know like um, if you have a preference to communicate it properly, you cannot be like, uh, anything is okay. La. Mm-hmm, but at the end, mm-hmm, you're like disappointed, yeah. you yes, know? Correct, yeah. Cannot set people up for failure. Correct, correct. Yeah. yeah. It has to be, uh, yeah, like we mentioned communication. You have to yeah. tell them, mm-hmm. you okay. know, as yeah. much as we want our partners to be mind readers, right? Mm. Um, the sad truth is they're not. At the end of the day, it's a emotional investment because you can't really pack a monetary value to yeah. your engagement ring, right. your diamond ring. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes. So at the end of the day, I think uh, what we want to encourage everyone is to really communicate with your partner and also make sure that both of you are comfortable with the amount that you are going to spend on the actual diamond ring itself because after you get married, both both of your finances will be combined anyway. So yeah, better make sure you're both comfortable with mm. how much you spend on the ring. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you for coming down. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having us. Really loved your thoughts on the diamond ring. And yeah. See you. See you. Bye-bye. That's a wrap on another episode of Keep It Simple. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. And also leave a comment, especially if you like these faces. I mean, even if you don't like these faces, please comment anyway because we want to know what you think. And we're also on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. So if you're on those platforms, remember to subscribe for new episodes.